Ask my advice, Mr. President. And all I'm saying All you're is saying, that Mac, is that I should screw my conscience along with about 250 million people in order to save a few jobs in an elitist group primarily made up of people who are still living in a fantasy land. Now, I didn't become the president of the United States to make friends, Mac. God knows if I wanted to do that, I would have stayed in New Jersey. I mean, I took the position to do the best job I could for the good of the whole country. I'm just saying it shouldn't be so drastic for security reasons. Look, I can no longer justify spending billions of dollars on ludicrous projects with people walking around the street homeless and hungry. With all due respect, Mr. President, I don't think the security of the country is ludicrous. Mac, you're a good soldier. The security of the country is what it is because of men like you. I'm just hoping that if we move towards a better tomorrow, somebody will say that that was the responsibility of me. I hope so too, sir. Mr. President, they're ready for you, sir. Thank you. Come on. This is gonna be hard enough to pass as it is. I'm gonna need you to cover my ass in this one, partner. I'm gonna need your help. Yes, sir. Let's do it. I'd like to thank you all for attending what I'm sure will be a historic event. Our guest today is a man who was elected four short years ago on a platform of returning government to the people. In those four years, he has exceeded this promise. Today, he will unveil a new plan which will launch us into the next century as a nation devoid of poverty and fear. A nation willing to take the next great step forward. The city of New York is proud he has chosen our beautiful city as the launching pad for this new journey. So ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sure that most of you know why I'm here today. In fact, Washington has never been known for keeping secrets. I tell my uh, security people that if they want to study infiltration techniques, just keep an eye on the press. <laughs> I'm going to lay some rumors to rest. This is going to be a step on a long journey that is not without detractors. I'm here to ask for your support. We all know that cuts have to be made. The high paranoia spending of the 80s is no longer acceptable in the 90s. Star Wars belongs in the movies, and it should be financed by Hollywood, not Washington and the American people. The American people can no longer justify letting things like education, the environment, Social Security, Medicaid fall by the wayside while billions of dollars are being spent for $650 toilet seats ordered by the Pentagon. It's time to start spending our money in the right places, the essential places. Now, we owe this to our children. We owe this to the children of the world. America is a leader, a superpower. And a superpower should not only be strong in the skies, it should be strong on the ground. However, I am not for a moment going to sacrifice the safety of the land we live in or the freedoms that we so cherish. But it is time to get our priorities in order. Whoa, quite a moving speech, Mr. President, full of your usual drama and short on down-home intelligence, returning government to the people. Come on, I ask you this, California. Are you going to allow some bleeding-heart president to cut thousands of your defense industry jobs so he can take your wages and disperse them among deadbeats who haven't worked a day in their life? Give me a call here at CRN, the station which sticks to the politics. Hello, you're on CRN. Who's this? Um, Betsy? What do you have to say, Betsy? Um, I think that cutting military spending and giving the money back to the people is a really nice thing to do. You call throwing thousands of your fellow Californians out of work nice? There's our boy. <laughs> yeah. Chicken's in the coop. Let's go. We agree that the defense industry provides over 100,000 jobs in the state of California, right? 
turn that asshole off. Do hey, you want to knock it off your fucking nut before I come back there and kick your ass? The only time you have the guts is when I've got these fucking things on. I'm telling you, shut up. Fuck you. It's an election year, Betsy. They never say anything. What they say is meaningless, which is why what they don't say is most important. Next caller. Hello, you're on CRN. You're coming with us. I think you got me confused with somebody else. My name is Nick. You're evil can evil to us, motherfucker. Now move. Hey, what about the rest of these guys? Fuck them. They're criminals.
just on second. Look at that. What I'm gonna tell Lamar is that you fucked up. That's because you're in my face all the time, bitch, with that mouth of yours. Fucking idiot. What now, Einstein? Just let me think a second. Obviously wanted one of them real bad. Okay, 
Here's a list of the 13 that got away. Headquarters is running a background check on their family and friends. We should be able to catch most of those geniuses that way. Give Corelli and Smith half the list. You and me will take the other half. So we do six. Like dusting today? Bella, I wore this especially for you. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> if my wife was as beautiful as you, I'd still be mad. <laughs> If your wife is as beautiful as me, she never would have married you. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, self-control is not my strong point. Oh, I'll take care of that. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. Yeah. Ow, you're hurting me! Haven't I told you a million times, don't touch the cuffs. Oh, take it easy. Hey, use it out. Use it out. Hey, 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 don't touch it. You're out of here. some help. No shit. For life, five minutes ago, where the hell were you? Here. Waiting for you. You got a car? Yeah, down the block. What the hell are you doing? Get me out of here, would you? I like that outfit. I like the matching cuffs. First, if you don't mind. What's the matter? The bondage is not your style, huh? No. <laughs> well, nothing much has changed around here. <laughs> what? You think I've gone too far? Huh? Is that what you're thinking? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a little. Those are for safety, wise guy. Some woman locked me to the bed one night for six hours. I had to call in the neighbors to help me. <laughs> it's embarrassing as hell. <laughs> they think I'm a fucking pervert. Right. Oh, whoa, whoa, what are you doing, huh? I'm gonna cut them off. Those are good cuffs. You gonna ruin them? Get me out. <laughs> I sure missed you, Bella. You too, my man. Good to be back. Still working on the uh, gas formula? You bet. It's getting close, too. Pretty soon I'm gonna have the best fueled stock car world has ever known. <laughs> Bella's Brew, I'm gonna call it. Be famous. Be rich. Buy my own strip joint, huh? <laughs> have a seat, partner. Hey, put your feet up. Come on, huh? Come on. Have you seen her? Have you spoke to her? Not since the last time I banged her. Is that supposed to be funny? 
talking about my wife. I know. <laughs> Emma, don't tell me you lost your sense of humor. Well, maybe I did, along with my self-respect, dignity. Well, that's what she lost. Why don't you just go ahead and pick my heart out when you're done with that? Be fair play. So you don't know who these people were, huh? I have no idea. One minute I'm on the bus, next thing I know the fucking thing turns over. These people come rushing in, they're pointing guns in my face. There's cops everywhere. They hustle me out of the bus, everybody's shooting. I jumped in a car and I took off. I don't know <clears throat> what the hell was going on. Life is such an adventure, ain't it? What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna turn myself in. I got a year left. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and why we bother removing these? Hmm? Because I want to see Nadia. Oh, Nick, I, you know. I never had a chance to explain myself. That prosecutor had it in for me from the get go. Oh, come on, Nick. Yeah, face it. You got caught with your hands in a cookie jar. Everybody knows you've been screwing around her for months. I mean, the only way you'd ever get her to listen to you was to tie her up. And, uh, you say you're not into that, so... Let me tell you one thing. I love my wife more than anything else in the whole world. And I miss her, Bella. And I gotta see her. No matter what. I don't know who these people are or what the fuck they want from me. But I'm gonna go see her. The least she could do is make a better appearance. A man is often judged by his clothes. I'll lend you some of mine. Yeah. No polyester. Who's next? Nick James. Is that the same Hollywood stunt driver, James? Me. Charlie. Cherkov had a great career going. So they got busted with an 18-year-old girl with a purse full of cocaine. Blowed his whole life. Stupid bastard. What's the address? Last address is 8487 West Alvarado. Boy. Men are so predictable. Name? And so are the cops. Fuck! Get rid of them. Don Ho, you come with me. Now listen to me. All right? I want you to answer the door. You get rid of these fucking cops and nothing's gonna happen to you. Let's go. I am not joking around with you. Don't be foolish. I am Officer Smoke. This is my partner, Officer Green. I'm sorry to bother you, but we'd like to ask you a few questions. How about what? Your husband? My husband? Um, I haven't spoken to my husband in almost a year. I really wouldn't know. We don't mean to alarm you, but your husband escaped tonight. Escaped? I think we could step in for a minute. Um, it's so late, and I was about to go to bed. Would just be a minute. I promise. I'm sorry, I can't let you in unless you have a search warrant. Uh, we have a warrant. You know, we're trying to gather as much information from the lab as we can. The lab? Well, who do you think did it? His wife? She's never been arrested for so much as stealing a piece of chewing gum. Why should she suddenly just blow away two cops? 
No, it was Nick James, for sure. And I want that bastard alive. Well, I'll put an APB out on it immediately. A brilliant idea. Do I, uh, do I at least get a chance to plead my case? You know, even murderers get to do that. Get on, brother. I met this girl once before that. Once. I had no idea what she had in her purse. She begged me for a ride. That's all there was to it. Please, 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 please. You shut the fuck up. Please, 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 please. You shut up. You're bothering me now. What, you want to hear this shit? Yeah. I'm a sentimentalist. <laughs> so where are you taking us anyway, huh? To see me. You know, I cannot tell you what an honor and a pleasure it is to finally meet you in person. I have watched your entire career. I trust your trip wasn't too unbearable. Look, I'm Lamar. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that anyone to treat a guest? Take those cuffs off. Look, what the fuck is going on? Patience, Nick. Everything in time. Well, fuck you. Time's now. I'd like to know what we're doing here. What do you want with us? Look, Nick. Let's not get our relationship started out on the wrong foot. Now go make her comfortable. Nick. Hey. Look, it's gonna be fine. Where are you taking her? Don't worry, Nicky boy. I'll take care of her like she was my own. You're gonna Nick. get yours, motherfucker! Keep an eye on him. Make sure she's okay. She's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Look. Look, let's go play a game. It's good for relaxing the tension. Come on. Come I don't on. like games. See? The whole city. Quite an expensive little hobby you got going here for yourself. I guess we're gonna play a game. Cops and robbers. Uh, the red one is you, the robber. The objective is, as in life, to avoid destruction. I'm ready when you are, Mr. James. Let's hit it. <laughs> Be careful, Nick. There are booby traps. <laughs> catch up, Nick. Catch up. <laughs> Ooh. Watch out for that car. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Ah. I guess I win. You know, I always wondered if you guys can drive a car as well on the street as you do in the movies. Let's not forget I lost those two jerks you had following me, didn't I? Well, I hope for your sake you'll be able to duplicate that feat. All right, come on. Tell me what you want. Well, we've been experiencing a little cash flow problem, but luckily, there's a bank that will help us replenish our finances. What's that got to do with me? You're gonna drive the getaway car. 
I ain't driving no getaway car. You can't make me. Well, no, I can't. But your heart can. She'll be in the next room, waiting patiently for your triumphant return. Now, should you not return, or become disagreeable, she will die. But enough shop talk. Why don't you go and see Nadia? I'm sure she'll want you to tell her that everything is going to be just fine. Hey, beautiful. Oh, baby. You got to learn how to relax, woman. Maybe that hubby of yours wouldn't stray down that other path. Get your hands off of me. Well, if it ain't Rudolph Vasilino, that's pretty funny. Think I can have a moment alone with my wife? I don't know, Nicky boy. I don't think she likes you anymore. <laughs> yeah. Where are we gonna go? We can't get out of here. All right, Ripple, let's go. Maybe you should talk to Dr. Ruth. I heard she's good about things like this. Yeah, you probably got her number. Can you get her something to wear, maybe? Oh, man. Nadia. Don't even try it, Nick. Listen. Why couldn't you just break out of jail and run off to Mexico somewhere? Haven't you done me enough damage? Did you have to drag me into this... Whatever the hell this place is. I don't know who these people are. Then why are we being held here like animals, Nick? You had to have some kind of dealings with them. I swear to God, God I don't know it, who Nick. they are. What is it that they want? Can you at least have the decency to tell me that much? Well, do you? You want to know? Yeah. You really want to know? Yeah, I do. You want to know what they want? Yeah. You want me to rob a bank? <sighs> Not me, actually, but you want me to drive the getaway car. Are you crazy? Honey, the only thing I'm crazy about is you. Look, you hired me to do a job, and it will be done. I promise it will be done! Everything all right? No, everything is not okay! How in the hell could you let that happen over at Nadia's? Was, uh... It was a fuck-up! I told you, I didn't want any attention drawn to Nick James. Didn't I? Nothing whatsoever that would draw him back to us. Whatsoever. I mean... Do you know how long it took me to find the right man? To find him? Ripple just gets carried I'm away I'm not sometimes. finished! Anonymity and precision are the key elements to our success. Without them, we won't be able to spend a fucking time. We need the bait alive. I mean, do you think for one minute they would pay us or let us live if we're any different. I will not allow anyone to jeopardize this operation or my reputation. It won't happen again. No, it won't. I want you to dispose of Ripple. Jesus, Lamar, they were just fucking cut. That's not the point! is he doesn't think ripple and i have been partners for years i will not have an idiot fucking things up i do not want him to return to this complex you brought him in you take him out you pick the time you pick the place the only thing i suggest is you do it So, Dorothy, how are all our friends in California? Well, sir, on my early reports, not very happy. Our biggest objections are going to come from Douglas. That's where most of the cuts are going to score a direct hit. Not that Stockheed and Burroughs are going to roll over that easily. They're all going to come at you with everything they have. Well, let them bitch and moan all they want. 
It's their own fault. They can't fight facts. It wouldn't have happened if they weren't so damn greedy in the first place. Well, I do believe that these four days are going to be the toughest of our campaign. But if we can convince the people of California that we can make up for the loss of employment in other areas, which we can, I think the rest of the country will have no problem accepting our plan. You're doing the right thing, sir. I hope so. Somebody bring me in, too. Can I get some food? No, no, no. no. Nork, right? Yeah. What's up? What do you think? Is that supposed to be a getaway vehicle? I don't think anybody's gonna get away. What do you suggest? Whose bed is this? Mine. Well, I might need to borrow a few parts. I'll put them in here. Anything for the cause, right? Anything? It'll be a lot less painful if you don't watch. Got this straight off the internet. Blueprint of the bank. Ain't nothing sacred anymore? That's nothing. I got an email thing going on with this chick. Now, can we interrupt this fantasy just long enough to show us the vault? Sure. Right there. This corridor connects it with the lobby. On the other side of this door, there's an employee entrance leading out to Chandler Street. That's where Nicky Boy will be. Whole job shouldn't take more than four minutes and 45 seconds. Well then, does everybody know what to do? And good luck. And remember, nothing happens to Nick James. Not too bad, Mr. Goodwrench. Not too original, but not too bad. Don't you have anything else to do besides bug me? I'd do your wife, but she's taking a nap. Don't get cocky, Nicky boy. Right now, you're our meal ticket. Trust me, your days are numbering. Thanksgiving's on its way. Get the fuck out of here. Turkey. <laughs> come, 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 come. I thought Nick was going to be here. Where is he? I think you better sit down. Now, he's right there. What do you mean, right there? See, the van your husband's in has a sensor in it. So from right here, we can watch his whole little adventure, just like being there. Let's 
Hey, 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 what are you, what are you doing? What do you want? Hey, uh, just cleaning your window for a dollar, Holmes. It's awful dirty. I ain't got a dollar. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Wipe off the rest of that, would you? For somebody with no money, you're sure as hell picky. Everything okay? Absolutely, officer. Everything's fine. Is this guy bothering you? No, sir, he's not. He's just uh, cleaning off the window. We'll either keep it rolling or put some time in the meter. Okay, got it. Hey, go away.
Let go. Come on. Why is he stopping? It's okay, it's okay. Oh. 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 Direct hit, Batman. Oh. You got come, it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. All right. It's a number, Nick. Anything happens, call it. He's gonna be a gimp anyway. Get up! Get up! I can't! Yes, you can! No! Come on! Ripple, come here! Um, give me the money and go back and help them! We're all gonna die because of that fat Fabio looking fuck! Come on! Ah. You go back and fucking help them, Ripple! Get up! Get up! Ah. Uh, let's go! All right. Come on, big guy. All right. I'm gonna help him. Come on, big guy. Get over here! Help me carry him! Ah. Ah. Oh. You fucking piece of shit, motherfucker! <coughs> Jack, let him go! Jack, let him go! Lieutenant, hold on. Excuse me, Lieutenant. A bank robbery downtown? Who do you think of driving the getaway van? Nick James. You got it. All right, I'll get back to you later. Bye. Lacey, come on. It's me, Rip. What? More money for us. Check with Simpson. Please don't have him. Well, maybe he's using an alias, and they don't know yet. Check again. Mar, you're getting upset over nothing. I mean, even if he is with the police, he doesn't know nothing, remember? About anything. If they ask him where we are, he doesn't know. 
Trust me. He'll call. He won't jeopardize Nadia's life. Where did you leave Ripple? In the sewer. It's a good place to leave Nick James when this job is over. I thought we were going to set him up and then turn him over to the cops when we're done. Don't be ridiculous. When this job is done, he's done. And Nadia? What? And her. You're beginning to sound like Ripple. And her? And her? Look, 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 look. I'd like to be alone, okay? Sure, boss. Lost your appetite? Didn't think you'd be that upset. Now why would you say something like that? Didn't think you cared about him anymore. Just because you don't care about somebody doesn't mean you wish him dead. Maybe you don't know the difference. Luther just called. He's on his way in with Nick. He's not dead after all. Guess we can eat, huh? I was worried about you, Nick. You were, huh? I'm lucky to be alive, okay? Your boy Ripple shot somebody. That wasn't supposed to be part of the deal. No, look, 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 that was, that was a mistake. Look, I'm sorry to upset you, but mistakes happen. Fuck you and your mistakes. I'm taking my wife, and I'm getting the hell out of here, Lamar. The job is not finished yet. Bullshit. I'm finished. You're finished when I say you're finished. Now, there's one more step. And if you veer from the plan one iota, or do anything foolish, I will kill her personally. What are we gonna do? Hit a couple more banks? You think too small, Nick. This is not one of your trivial movie plots. This time it's the real thing. We're gonna kidnap the president. Lamar, you're gonna grab the President of the United States. No shit, Sherlock. For what? To sell him. To who? Obviously to somebody he pissed off. Come on, Nick, don't be naive. The list is endless. Do you actually think he has no enemies? Look, our President could bring in a hell of a price. I mean, how do you think we got all this? thought they were going to get paid after they did it. Look, certain people want him dead, and they're going to have him dead. Now, whether it's done by me or somebody else, I'm just trying to cover my ass. Now, I thought you shared my same spirit of adventure. What makes you think I'd have anything to do with this? Money, Nick. Big money. Because with big money, you can do anything. Money is power. Money is freedom. Money is... <laughs> Money. Now, you haven't been in jail too long to have forgotten the pleasures it brings, have you? How can you do this? You're an American. Oh, don't bore me with that! What does that mean anymore, Nick? American. We go into countries and we destroy them. Slaughter the people. Turn them against one another. And for what? For money. That's 
That's what it's all about. Now, each president merely covers for the powers that be. And when they stop covering, they're gone. Somebody will always want to kill the president. And they know it. It comes with the territory. How do I know that you're not going to kill Nadia? You kill us both after you get your meal ticket. I could kill you right now. But I don't. Because you still need me. No, I don't need you, Nick! I like you. I admire your talent. And because I do, not only am I going to grant you your life, but enough money for you and Nadja to live very, very comfortably for the rest of it. Three million. That sounds cool. It's a lot of money. Where am I going to spend it? Oh, you'll find a place. We cover our tracks around here very, very well. We're not one of your cause groups here to make a stand. We're in, we're out. We can even make it look like you're dead. With enough money, you can do whatever you want. Now, you listen to the voice of reason. You are involved in some very deep shit now. You'll never be able to lead a normal life. They'll put you in prison for a long, long time. I mean, you think, you think uh, the judge is untouchable? These are some very, very powerful people. You know how the government works. They can buy your life or your death. Trust me. Trust me. And you'll be able to walk away from this thing free. They'll screw your neck. That's what they do best. I want half now, and the other half when you get the prez. Any way you want it. Soon parted. General Moore. You take care of security, we'll take care of the president. You must execute our plan perfectly. Remember, elimination or no deal. You just remember to bring the money. Cocky bastard. He really thinks I'm an idiot. Jerk. If we don't bring them alive, we're dead. What makes you say that? Let's just say I know my friends very well. Very well. Hour. Who advises this guy? The MTA?
Security down there is tighter than Fort Knox, so any of you people who want to play spectator, forget it. You're never going to get close. Now for a little more ranting. Not from me this time. I want to hear you rant, California. He's on your turf today, people. You've got home field advantage. Hello, you're on CRN. I think you should kick it. Next caller, you're on CRN. Yeah, Mike, I just wanted to say I hate your show. Ouch, an obvious liberal. I'm not. I'm an independent. Which means you don't have the cojones to make a decision. I just wanted to say that I think the President Carlton does want to help the people. I hear the speech today, and everything he says makes sense. Uh -huh. I don't think this is some type of an attempt at political maneuvering. Uh -huh. uh, come on, I really believe he's sincere. Sincere, President, that's an oxymoron, pal. Sure, he sounds sincere. What's he supposed to say? What I'm about to say are all lies? But wait a minute. You've fallen into his trap, Billy. Next caller, please. You're on CRN. Who's this? Hello, Mike. This is Bob from Santa Monica. Bob, what do you have to say to California? I used to be in the Army, right? Okay, go ahead. I just don't think that the United States can afford to cut back on military spending. It makes us weaker. I couldn't agree with you more, Bob. We cut the military budget, we'll have every commie, terrorist, serial killer waltzing over our borders. Next caller. How do you think it went? Oh, I think it went very well. Good. You're never going to get away with this. <laughs> Are you willing to bet your life? Oh, he is. You're a son of a bitch. You made him do this. No, 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 I didn't make him do anything. Money did. How's it going, Simpson? Doing good, how about yourself? Cool. I got this truck and a couple more back there. Need to clear a way through for three trucks. Let them go. Appreciate it. Have you ever felt the exhilaration of a well-executed plan? Great to see those guys in the kitchen, huh? Yeah. They're behind you. They're behind you. <sighs> What's next? Sky 2 adjusting course heading to 150 at 1000. Sky 1 maintaining position over motorcade, area secure. Roger, Sky 1, area secure. Sky 2 dropping to 800 feet. We're heading south on Figueroa.
there, Mr. President. Watch this.
Tell me that doesn't give you a hard on. <laughs> Excuse the place. Uh, I let my cousin stay here for a couple of days, and are you no kids? Want to sit down? No, thanks. Mm. Sit. No? Well, I think I've got to. <sighs> Listen, first of all, I'd like to apologize for this entire situation. I, 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 uh, I'm not quite sure how to start uh, to explain to you what is going on. Come on, Nick, spit it out, huh? I can't wait to hear this one myself. Mr. President, I was forced to kidnap you. By who? Hey, uh, sir, I, I had nothing to do with this. I'm a mechanic. Tell him, Nick, I'm a mechanic. He, he is a mechanic. By a man named Lamar. You realize the United States government has a policy not to negotiate with terrorists. Terrorists? Nikki, we're not terrorists. Tell them we're not terrorists. Would you please? You got the wrong idea, Mr. President. I'm not a terrorist, and I'm not associated with any terrorist group whatsoever. In fact, I'm a uh, stunt driver, a stunt car driver. At, at least I, I, I used to be. Well, you haven't lost your touch. Thank you, sir. I've uh, actually been out of commission for a little while. What do you want? I need you to stay here. Why? These people are holding my wife, and they're going to kill her unless I give them you, which I can't do, sir. They've got quite a military installation underground. It's been referred to as uh, Area 55. I think it's uh, something you should know about. Uh, I don't want my wife to die, sir. And I don't want you to die either. They're planning something big. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know how the hell I got involved in this whole thing from the get-go, but... You're telling me that you're innocent? I guess you're pissed off. I'm very pissed off. But not so much at you my security. I mean, how in the hell do you kidnap the President of the United States? <laughs> good point, sir. Very good point. Bring it out of this, some heads are going to roll. All I need is a couple of hours. After this is all done, you can 
lock me up, put me back in jail. Throw away the key. That's up to you. I just need a couple of hours to get in there and get her out. I think I have a way that I can do it. But I need you to stay here. Why should I trust you? Sir. Let them go. This is uh, Area 55. How far is that from here? Two, two and a half hours. With who driving? All right. Take these two men. We've got two hours. And then, if we don't hear from you, we're going to do it our way. OK. Take this with you. It's a homing device. That's how these characters got here. You mind if I go too, sir? Hey, fella, maybe we should stick around. Hey, once a Marine, always a Marine. He was in the Marines. Go ahead. Well, you can't take it off, because we're almost there. I'm not getting a good feeling about this. Just relax. Everything's going to be all right. This is a shit plan. You got a better one? Now, just remember, when I say Cherry Coke, that's when you shoot. That's when you fire. Cherry Coke. And who? Anybody except me. Shoot that way. Shoot to your right. Don't talk. Fuck you. Hey, no cursing. You're supposed to be the president. You guys read me back there in the trunk? Loud and clear. When I pop it, you go. Copy that. We're almost there. This is fucked up. This is very fucked up. Would you just shut up and act presidential? Please. Can I see him? It's the president. I want to see him. No, no, I want to show him to Lamar. Come on, Nick. I want to see him. Yeah. No, no, come on. Let me see him. I've never seen the president no, 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 before. Lamar, I want to show him to Lamar. Ah, hey, Luther. What? Did you ever have a cherry Coke? Cherry Coke? You like when we were kids? Cherry Coke? Yeah. Did you ever have a cherry Coke? <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Goddamn, I don't know I have to say it. What the hell are you? I wanted to be sure, okay? Five times I said it. Jerry Cole, Jerry Cole. Well, you're having a fucking conversation with the guy. What do you want me to do? Two minutes, repeat. You have two minutes until backup arrives. Security breach in Sector 7. Security breach in Sector 7. All available personnel proceed to intercept at B level. All available personnel proceed to intercept at B level. Stay 
what I'm going to get down here. What'd you do with the president? What are you gonna do, shoot a lady? I'll shoot her. I mean it. Drop the fucking gun. Ladies first. Get her gun. Ask me again. You ain't gonna die, me, you crabby old bastard. Come on. <clears throat> Let's get him out of here. Let's go. Damn, shit. Some fucking plan, Nick. Shut up. Some fucking plan. Help's on the way. Nick! What's up, you bitch? You could have had it all. But I'm gonna go down. At least I'll have the pleasure of taking you out first. Jerry, come on! doing, partner? Well, I've been better. Yeah, we all have. Listen, uh, I'm sorry. But it's all right. Worse things have happened to presidents. I'm sorry about your friend. Yeah, me too. You must be... Nadia. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. President. Pleasure to meet you. You must be very proud of him. Yeah. I am. I am. We did a little research on him while I was waiting. I think we can work something out with the time you have left. And, uh, does this belong to you? Oh. I think you can hold on to it. Maybe uh, you better hold on to this. You might be in it. I hope not. <laughs> 